What's up y'all, it's Jay here, your favorite Asian food vlogger. I'm actually at Maine and... Maine and Hastings, and I'm gonna go to a restaurant for noodles, so stay tuned. So, the restaurant is called Fat Mao Noodles. So Thai, Malaysian, Chinese, probably ramen in there too. I wouldn't blame them. And we're kind of in the Chinatown, the first kind of community where a bunch of Asians like started uh, shacking up. So that's pretty cool. Very historic. You could tell from the architecture behind me, like the brick and the Chinese lettering on the signage here. Oh, that's hilarious. Jason's and Co. Anyways, so the restaurant I'm planning to go to is Fat Mao. So it's roughly like a five minute walk. It's not too far. And whoa, Asian lettering on the bank. So they keep it true to what it is at Chinatown. So that's awesome. But slowly getting closer to the restaurant, I feel it. I think it's like maybe, I don't know, if I were to guess, like four or five blocks. I just walked one block, so it's pretty good. And oh. so. so just progressively walking there. I'm probably gonna stop in between just to uh, pull up the GPS and see how close of an arrival I'm uh, I have until I get there so I'm probably just gonna mask is I'm probably just gonna put this on pause for now stay tuned and I'll come back for more just to get an idea of where I am and how far I need to go stay tuned really good things of that restaurant as well but uh so the GPS is telling me to go make a left on Kiefer. So I'm doing that right now, walking from East Hastings towards Main Street Skytrain Station, make a pop left on Kiefer. And the major landmark is there's just Tim Hortons right at the corner. So pop a right at the first intersection and I'm off to the races. So it seems like the first right here is an alley. I'm not too sure if I should bust it right down here. But uh, we'll kind of pull up the GPS to see where we're at. Stay tuned. Hey guys, the GPS has taken me down this alley. Very sketchy, actually. I'm actually a little nervous. Uh, don't know what to expect walking down here. But that's what the GPS calls for, and that's what we'll do. That's what makes this an adventure. So if something happens to me, uh, hope my parents know that I love them and uh, <laughs> I don't hate my brother as much as I say I do, but technically I do. But I don't want to have a monologue saying this is the last of me. So uh, I see the road now. Very scared, uh, but <laughs> we made it through it, so. Thankfully, um, great. I think the restaurant is this one right here, this corner one. Excellent. We have arrived, excellent. Made it in one piece through that sketchy uh, alley over there. Next thing, I'm probably not gonna take GPS directions from Apple Maps because it proves to be very troublesome. So stay tuned, I'm gonna get a seat and we're gonna dive into some of this Thai Malaysian noodles. I'm kind of hungry. This is the first meal of the day. Actually, I lied. This is the second meal of the day. I had pizza for lunch, but stay tuned. Thank you. 
seems like they have some cartoon situation going on in front of me. So actually, that cartoon situation is actually the menu. I actually pulled it up on my cell phone right now. So the images look pretty solid. I'm leaning more towards the uh, soup noodle options. And it seems like they have different style of noodles. So Shanghai, Wong Tan, Pho, rice noodles, uh, so on and so forth. They have Thai style noodles. So probably get their second opinion on that. I'm probably leaning more towards the um, like braised duck noodle. That sounds pretty good. But uh, we'll see what's up. Stay tuned. Okay, I uh, put my mask on just because to speak with the uh, server there. So ended up getting her uh, personal favorite. I don't know if it's her personal favorite, but like it's one of the top three noodles. So it was the uh, hot and sour pork noodles. So hot and sour pork soup with barbecue pork, minced pork, Vietnamese ham, and peanuts. So they give you an option for the noodles as well. I ended up getting the Shanghai wide noodles, so chewy flat wide wheat noodles. And for drinks, which is on the other side of this uh, menu here, I ended up getting the Thai iced tea and a guava fruit juice. So I'm gonna sit tight and wait, and I have high hopes. Well, not really high hopes. I'm gonna try something different. Usually when I go for like soups, I just get like pho, ramen, so hot and sour is gonna be definitely out of my element for sure. So stay tuned. And you can definitely see how they uh, prepare it over there on this cooking line. I'm excited, stay tuned. So the plating is pretty standard. Like, got some like nice detail on the plate here. Red uh, spoon, wooden chopsticks. And that's a little surprising to me. Like, you would think that they might have uh, some chopsticks, but uh, that's okay too. Uh, but apart from that, so Thai iced tea, it's super strong. Uh, it's kind of like a milky kind of like, it's like tea, milky. It's like a milk tea, but it's got a stronger like kick to it. And you can see, and uh, just waiting on that. And just can't wait for the preparation of the hot and sour soup. And yeah, this is the logo right here on Cha. Yeah, stay tuned. Just gonna wait on that and uh, go from there. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Can I take some photos of this? Stay tuned, guys. What up, guys? Took some photos while the drink. Looks pretty hectic. It's like an Asian kind of like canister look. Right? It's not like standard western style cannery. It's kind of like very pensive in size. And they kind of give you these like mason jar cups. Looks pretty chill. So, Thai iced tea, tea, milk, uh, ice obviously. Mix it up. I'm gonna try this wobble one in a second just to rinse out like the Thai iced tea. I'm not gonna put too much in it, drink too much. Reminds me a lot like milk tea. It's got like that. There's a flavor at the end, kind of like a caramelly vibe to it. Try some of this guava drink here. It's kind of like a murky, refreshing. It's not like as juicy as like orange juice. <laughs> yeah, uh, those two drinks are pretty solid so far. I'm actually just gonna chill out, wait for the noodles to come up, and uh, just wait until that comes up, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. But uh, yeah, that now it's 
in Gastown, like Main Street area. I actually stumbled across that uh, Red Bee Beetle. It's like on the Main Street. And uh, like I said, in the alley, I'm not trusting like Apple Maps. They gave the worst directions of all honesty. Like walking through that alley, I felt like I actually admitted some stuff about my uh, brother. But uh, thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you again. So the food has arrived. The drinks side here. Looks very loaded. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So, shallots, peanuts, bean sprouts. There's a lime in there, surprisingly enough. And uh, some ground beef and this sour soup. So, I'm gonna take some photos, BRB, come back, dive into this, and go from there. Stay tuned. Come back, guys. I took some photos. This smells very fragrant. It smells spicy. It actually smells like something I've eaten before. I think the peanuts kind of throw it off a bit. Uh, so I got this trusty lime. Just gonna spritz it in. Dial it back a little bit. Get some freshness, pop these uh, chopsticks. Ooh. Hope I don't make a mess. Interesting. These are some thick Shanghai noodles, very different. And I like the pork pieces, nice and thick. Thick, 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 thick. Uh, first bite, Shanghai. Actually, this is the first time I've ever had Shanghai noodles. This is gonna be super interesting. And um, probably get a bit of the noodles, the pork. Give you a zoom in. And I'm gonna get some of the broth here too. Sweet and sour. Cheers. Mm. Very strong flavors. You got nice chewy texture of the noodles. <laughs> kind of packs a punch. Yeah, definitely it's a unique noodle. Noodles are nice. Very strong in flavor. Pork slices are nice too. But what steals the show for me is the broth. Just because it's not run of the mill, like, like chicken broth or beef broth. Gives you a nice flavor profile, which is good. Wash it down with some drink. Guava 
first. Boom. Cheers, guys. But I don't want this eating portion to get too long. So I'm going to pause it here. Eat more, eat more, eat more. Come back for the review. And uh, we'll go from there. So stay tuned, guys. Alright, guys. Welcome back. Batman Noodle. Check out this uh, chalkboard with their logo. Boom. Pat's chilling there with his drink. But anyways, so hot and sour soup, Shanghai uh, wide noodles. So what I liked about this was the barbecue pork. It has a nice flavor to it. Very delicious. Like the pork by itself was so delicious that I wish that they gave more portion of the pork. But uh, yeah, when it comes to the broth of like the so hot and sour, it's sort of like the traditional like hot and sour soup that you get like at a Asian restaurant like, as an appetizer, but it's not super thick. It doesn't have those like stringy like garnishes inside like the carrot, uh, the egg, and uh, other standard things in hot and sour soup. This one they may do with like shallots, they may do with like peanuts. They kind of like tried to make a makeshift style like that, but like in a noodle form. So the broth was very thick in the sense that it wasn't super thin and it had a power punch of sour. So that was good. Um, I just wish that they did more of the pork because the barbecue pork was insane. Actually, it's probably one of the best barbecue products I've ever had. Shh, low key. But anyways, so in terms of a rating, it's not my kind of style of soup, but it is a really good like try once, or just like if you want to get your feet wet of like hot and sour soup, especially during winter time. Uh, is it a regular dish that I could see myself eating? Uh, maybe like once a month or once every two months but if it's like a weekly thing i'd probably stick to like uh, just because it's kind of like savory in that sense um but yeah i really like how here you have an option between five different types of noodles they have vermicelli they have here rice sheep they have far rice noodles wonton noodles and the shanghai one so pick your poison for the noodles and the broth is the bro so that's cool they're closing up right now so i'm gonna wrap it up in terms of rating eight and a half uh, i enjoyed it and i'm just gonna s enjoy my remainder of the meal here by just diving and finishing in the drinks that i ordered the guava super refreshing thai iced tea very creamy anyways thanks again for staying tuned Smash that subscribe button and stay tuned for more food reviews of Vancouver, surrounding cities, and eventually traveling when COVID is over. Thanks again for staying tuned and bye for now.